it is that time of the year again. So here are my five suggestions for photography related gifts for the photographer in your life, or maybe just for yourself. The first one is a phone holder. Of course, there are many phone holders on the market, but the reason this is my favorite, especially as a photographer, is that the kickstand includes an Arca Swiss dovetail, which is the most common quick release system used in tripods and such. Now this won't work with Manfrotto quick release systems. You would have to use the threads on the bottom to mount the Manfrotto quick release plate to the phone holder and then mount it to the tripod. You can use the phone vertically or you can position it correctly, horizontally. <laughs> and for example, watch Netflix from your phone just like this when you're traveling, which is very convenient. And because of the kickstand, you don't actually need a tripod with it. You can just place the phone on a table just with the phone holder. Or you can mount it to a tripod if you want to use the phone to film some behind the scenes from your next photo shoot, for example. And lastly, one thing that I really like about this phone holder, which is not found in all of the phone holders, is the fact that it folds down to quite a small space so it fits very neatly into a backpack. Next up is the thread adapter by Rode. This one comes with a carabiner, so you won't lose it in your backpack quite as easily. And it actually looks quite nice. It includes adapters for the most common threads found in photography equipment, lighting equipment, and also microphones. So you could, for example, use it to mount a microphone to a light stand or a light to a microphone stand. This has saved my butt on several occasions. And last of the three is a tool by Small Rig. Comes in a very nice case, inside which there is a pouch, which is a bit redundant, but I suppose you could uh, just carry it in the pouch. I prefer the case, so I'm gonna get rid of the pouch. It includes the most common drivers found in photography and lighting equipment, including a large flat head driver which is quite common in quick release plates, L plates, such as the small rig grip for the Nikon ZFC. These three have proven to be so useful that I carry them in my backpack always. Now a mug is of course always a safe choice. Just make sure that you get the right brand. <laughs> so for me that would be Nikon, but for your photographer it might be something else. You could also get a lens mug, which is uh, which has perhaps a little bit more novelty value, but the quality is not quite the same. This one emulates the venerable Canon 24 to 105 kit lens, though it lacks any Canon branding as it's obviously not officially licensed by Canon. The outside is plastic and rubber, and the inside is metal. The inside on mine has already began rusting, so. For novelty, maybe the lens mug is nice, but if you actually want a little bit more use out of it, then just get a camera branded mug. And lastly, two table tripods. There's the Manfrotto Pixie and the larger, heavier duty table tripod by Karuba. The Manfrotto Pixie is, is my favorite in, in this size, as most of the other small table tripods have like a little ring around the ball head that you use to loosen or tighten the ball head, whereas the Pixie just has a button that you press and that loosens the ball head and you release to lock it. And it actually feels more secure than the ones that have a ring around the ball that you use to tighten it. So it works very well, definitely recommended. And then the heavier duty version, the Karuba is of course superior in just about every way, but it is so heavy that if you're using one of these for travel, then the Karuba is one that you are more likely to leave in the hotel room, where the Manfrotto Pixie is one that you might actually take with you for the day. The Karuba, on the other hand, has proven much more useful in the studio. It can carry a heavier camera or a heavier light. The legs have three different angles to which you can adjust them depending on how tall you need the tripod to be or how stable you need it to be. You can also adjust uh, the center column for a little bit of uh, fine tuning of the height. And the legs actually extend quite a bit. So 
you actually get quite a tall tripod out of it. I quite often use it like this with the legs fully extended as a stand for a background light, where a normal light stand would be too large and would be easily visible behind the subject. This one you can hide behind a table or behind a chair quite easily. The heavy duty one has a very nice ball head. It is quite smooth in its operation and when you lock it down it is very solid. The pan ring is surprisingly smooth like I think you could do you could do a pan for a video in a pinch with this if you didn't have a proper video head with you. And finally it of course uses the Arca Swiss compatible quick release system which again is the most popular one on the market. The other very common quick release system is the Manfrotto quick release system but the Arca Swiss is still way more popular. For example if you're buying an L plate or like a grip extension for a camera, it most likely comes with an Arca Swiss dovetail such as this. So anything like this fits directly onto, onto the tripod, which is very nice. And also the phone holder that I showed you earlier fits right in. And that is very nice. Finally, it folds down to a nice small size. It is still a little bit larger than for example a Coke can but it fits quite comfortably into, into the drink holders that you would find on many backpacks such as the Low Pro backpack that I'm using. But as I said it is quite heavy so for traveling the Pixie is in my opinion still the choice. I hope the suggestions were helpful. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.